inches of 190. She is better at Twitter than MJF. DC and Paul Crockett going to be calling the following matchup. MJF, Jordan Grace, first time ever. And uh, certainly some interesting implications given the way that Jonathan Gresham left it off with the Dream Team following Abundanza, where he lost the Power on TV Independent Wrestling Independent Championship to Hot Sauce Tracy Williams in a three way match that also included Martin Stone. MJF coming up short in the finals of the tournament for tomorrow. So we see both members of the Dream Team going one-on-one -on -one with both the winners of the male and female 2017 tournament for tomorrow here today at Hope. MJF clearly wasn't expecting that kind of strength from Jordan Grace, but I don't know why he wouldn't. He clearly is coming in here overlooking her. And like you said, all the implications with Jonathan Gresham. It's going to be interesting to see how he handles this matchup because of all that. Well, to borrow a phrase from uh, Jonathan Gresham, from around this time last year, he considers Jordan Grace family. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a different relationship than that. I don't see him ringside. Am I, am, I, am I missing something? No, you do not see him ringside. He still has a matchup to prepare for, so whether or not that is coming into play, whether he would come out if he didn't have a match, I don't know. But he has Wheeler Yuta tonight as MJF. He's got Yuta tonight, and Yuta's sometimes tag partner in Hot Wheels. The new Powerbomb TV independent wrestling champion makes his first defense tonight against Colt Cabana in our main event here at Hope. Earlier in the evening, Angel Ortiz was a little hesitant to hit Penelope Ford, but MJF does not have that problem here. I think that both these competitors are probably uh, more evenly matched than it may see on the surface. If anything, though, Jordan Grace with significantly more experience. Yes, Jordan Grace has a lot of years in the business on MJF. She's only 21 or 22, just turned, just turned 22. And she's been in the business for what, a decade now? Pretty much close to that. I mean, wrestling when it, when it wasn't legal to do so by the Athletic Commission in her home states. And Jordan Grace has to worry about that factor on the floor of Stokely Hathaway, who's utilizing a fan to hold it back right now. Now that's just insulting MJF to anybody. Up for a big punch, just pulling away at the face. Disgrace the face of Jordan Grace. Look at you rhyming tonight. Have another solid gold, will you? Big thanks to Founders, our sponsor. Where is it for Jordan Grace, huh? MJF, a little too focused on the crowd, and that's been one of his downfalls. He gets distracted by a lot of different things going on in and out of the ring. If he could just focus fully, he might be the best in the world. Oh, look at that. An unusual throw landing right to a pin. Of all the referees to argue with, I think Tony S would be the last. He's gigantic. 
It's gigantic. He's had a rough go at things tonight. Yes. A lot of controversial calls, including Tony S. Doesn't surprise me one iota that the Dream Team has uh, secured him as their official for tonight. Of course, senior official Kevin Quinn not with us here. Perhaps still convalescing after the attack from MJF that sent him to the hospital after MJF came up short the finals of the tournament for tomorrow against Wheeler Uter and Adam Donzo. Well, and Jordan Grace's strength there works against her. Well, that time Grace able to sidestep MJF. He took a little bit too much time, but she's still really favoring that arm. We're going to bring it back up to a vertical base. Now we're going up top early. This could be it if she hits it. Might be looking for a superplex from the second rope. MJF in a good position to block. Might be looking for the muscle buster and MJF. Wow. Does he have the strength? MJF though holding on to the top rope. Jordan pushing the center of the ring. And before MJF can find his footing, a body slam off the top rope. MJF kicking away the clothesline attempt. Taking down Spine of the Pine, that Spine Buster. Jordan Grace really still favoring that elbow. You don't like the rhymes today? Who are you? I've Who had it. Who are you, the voice of Beyond Wrestling? Listen, I didn't write that, okay? Don't blame me for that. I didn't say it. But please, Dr. Seuss, can you stop? Back to more important things. Jordan Grace has the boot. MJF able to spin out of it. Come on, Tony S. Blatant eye poke by MJF. At some point, you have to call for a disqualification. At some point? Please, this guy's all about the antics today. Right to the spine of MJF. Falls it up with a beautiful back elbow. And Jordan Grace is feeling real good. And with that Vader bomb, still not enough. That was close. A lot closer than I thought it would be. Jordan Grace might be looking for that power bomb, one power bomb from the corner. Starts off in the electric chair position, able to switch around her opponent, drive him into the mat. Maybe going back to the well for the muscle buster. So hard to tell at this point. But MJF. You know he was going to keep targeting that arm. Jordan Grace made a big mistake right there. Could be paying for it with a broken elbow. Look at that whale hunt. And Jordan Grace, the clubbing clotheslines, just trying to fight through the pain. Look at the welts forming in the chest of MJF. Oh, no, pop up powerbomb. Dumped him on the back of his head and takes him down again with a clothesline. Great combination from Jordan Grace. For those new to Beyond Wrestling, Jordan Grace has beaten a lot of men before in this company. Yeah, she's as tough as they come. Sometimes tagging with Lufisto. Unfortunately diagnosed with cancer recently. Lufisto's the toughest woman I ever met. If, if you're Jordan Grace, you look up to Lufisto as your mentor, you're gonna do great things within this business. Oh, Jordan Grace was looking for the shoulder tackle. MJF caught her with the knee. Oh, and no! Driver. That is it. She's out. Why is he not going for the cover? Because he wants the submission victory. And Jordan Grace tapping out immediately. Come on, MJF. Come on, cut it out. The referee might get in there and reverse the decision. Oh, hey, here's Gresham. Oh, wow. And if we had any questions about what's... If we had any questions about what's going on between these two, I think we might have just gotten an answer there. 